Hi, Lee ho everybody. Mr. Kaczynski here. We're going to work on solving linear equations for y. Specifically, we're going to put them all into intercept form or slope intercept form. All right, so on this first one, let's just distribute that 3 on the right side. So we'll have y minus 3 on the left. 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 7 is 21. And then we'll just add 3 to both sides. So 3x plus 24, and we're done. Okay, so um, we haven't talked about it in any of the previous videos, but maybe you know that this is called point-slope form. And we just took it and turned it into slope-intercept form where now we know that the slope is 3 and the y-intercept is 24. So it might make it easier for us to graph it, maybe. All right, here's another one, kind of the same. On the right side, let's distribute again. Don't be afraid of that fraction. 1 6 times x is 1 6 x. 1 6 times 6 is just 1. And then we'll subtract 9 from both sides, and we get 1 6 x minus 8. 1 minus 9 is negative 8. So there's our equation. Again, now we know our slope is 1 6 and our y-intercept is negative 8. Uh, this form doesn't really have a name, like the last two have been point-slope form, um, but we can still solve it for y pretty simply. Let's start by adding 11 to both sides. So we got 10x plus 11 equals 3y. And then we'll divide both sides by 3. On the right, we get y. On the left, 10x divided by 3 is 10 thirds x. And 11 divided by 3 is 11 thirds. And we're going to have to leave it as fractions. You know, when you're typing it into IXL, maybe put the y in front. So y equals 10 thirds x plus 11 thirds. This is called standard form of a linear equation. It's pretty much the same process that we just went through. Um, but on this one, we're going to subtract 4x from both sides to get rid of it on the left side. So now we have 13y equals negative 4x plus 5. And then we'll divide both sides by 13. So negative 4x divided by 13 is negative 4 thirteenths x. And 5 divided by 13 is 5 thirteenths. If those fractions could have been simplified, I, I should have simplified them as well, but they can't. So that's our answer. Y equals negative 4 thirds X plus 5 thirteenths. And one more. We're back to point slope form. I threw this one in because the fraction is a little bit different this time. It sticks around just a little bit longer. I am going to distribute that 3 sevenths. That will give me 3 sevenths X. And then 3 sevenths times 1 is 3 sevenths. So what I'm going to do at this point is add 1 to both sides. Yes, I'm adding 1 to the left and right side. 7 7 is 1, but it's got a common denominator um, with that 3 7 which will make it a little bit easier. So this is 3 7 x plus 3 7 plus 7 7 is 10 7 And there we go. I think that's a good enough set of examples to get you going on this and make you successful. So good luck on this skill in Section S of IXL's Algebra 1.